In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to make some changes to the edge or paint control point, and then also adjust the base curve on this lens. The unusual topography I mentioned in the email was this here. You can see there's some, there's almost a ring of uh, mid profile steepening as if this patient was already in ortho K or had LASIK in the past, which is a little bit unusual if that's how the cornea normally is. Um, it does make it a little bit more challenging because we have to get flattening here in the center and steepening out here away from that and the cornea is already kind of shaped like that. So if the cornea is already kind of shaped like that to begin with to further exaggerate that shape is sometimes a little bit more challenging. But uh, what we're going to do is decrease sag out here by 20 microns. So you want to right click on the graph and you can see here at the pink control point, we're currently at a sagittal height of 1958. So if we decrease that by 20, then our new target is going to be 1938. And so we can, we're going to do this all the way around the lens, so 100% mode. And we can click that to make each click a little bit of a larger change, and that makes everything go a little bit faster. Now we're at 1950. So we'll go one more. And we're pretty close to 20 microns more shallow. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is turn the blending back on. So we're going to uncheck the box, and you'll see the curve smooth out a little bit more. And then we're going to adjust the base curve. So we're at a power of about 1.94. And so our new power is going to be, if we're going to change it by half a diopter, we should be around 2.44. So again, we'll add the multiplier in so this goes a little bit faster. We're going to click up here at the red control point. This flattens the base curve. You can see the base curve getting flatter here and the power changing correspondingly. Okay, a little bit over, so we'll back off. So now we're about a half diopter flatter in the base curve. Now we also made this change in 100% mode, which implies that it should be throughout the entire treatment zone of the lens, but sometimes the software is not entirely accurate, so it is good to kind of click through the different meridians and see if there's any variability. It's not huge, but we do have a little bit. I think we can touch that up a little bit. So here we'll Click up maybe a couple times. And at 2.42, we're a little bit closer to this 2.46 power. So even in this mode, we can go up a little bit. Okay, so this is a GSIM lens, which means Whatever we do in this meridian, this one, this one, and this one will be mirrored to the other side. So as long as we've taken care of these four, then we can be assured that the other four are also fairly uniform. And this lens is now complete and ready to order.